What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome you must Total War Let's Play as the Brutia and in, 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 and in this episode we are going to smash open the city of Siwa and knock out this small Egyptian garrison. So let's go take them out. Uh, I was sorely, sorely, sorely tempted to just auto resolve it but the problem is, is I am rapidly coming towards the end of this video and if I start, then at the end of this video the end of this campaign, if I start auto-resolving too much, it will suddenly come to a rather abrupt end. So, I may as well fight the odd battle. Could probably do without listening to him rant about being brave Romans and so on. So, I'm right, just going to knock out this tower. So our siege towers can probably go like this you can probably go over there if I deploy the archers in the middle they can knock out that tower, knock out the gatehouse move up our ladders, move up our towers sorry and jobs are good ones, let's dump a couple of units to help capture the walls if that becomes a problem well, I, but I doubt it Got plenty of cavalry sat to the rear and plenty of archers. So I don't think. Oh, yeah, Desert Axemen. It'd be interesting to see how well these are. They are armor. They will be armor piercing. So. If I can use this fella to knock out the towers, actually, you're okay. It's these ones that want to push a bit further in that are the problem for that tower because they'll get they'll, they'll shoot at these this tower for a long time as it comes in. You're probably safe actually as well. Come on, men, crank back those arms. There we go. Start engaging the gateway. Oh, do you try and go for the reinforced gates themselves? No, go for the gateway. You can probably push them up now. Looks like these axemen are determined. Well, they don't. They've decided they want to abandon the wall. These slingers are picking off my men. But when these Praetorians have got the ladder up to the wall, got the there we go, got the tower up to the wall, now these men can run in. Yeah, you're kind of a... No, no need for you to go up there as well. Especially when the square's right there, we can fight our way through to it. Combine these men in the center. There we go, you men run in there. The siege towers are at the walls. Now the real fight begins. Oh, they're getting some free hits. Run, run, run. Get in there. Fill up the top deck. So they might knock that one out, potentially. Ah, no they won't. Okay, Onager, go for the gate. It is possible to hit the gate, but it can be a bit dodgy. Yeah, just... Might just be too close. The slingers have had enough. They're away. They're, they're off. Or oh, they're gonna. Th yeah, you. You guys run. Okay, now the axemen have come back. Oh, 
and they get soon filling up the top of that tower. Oh yeah, we've knocked our way in through the gates. The towers are destroyed, so I might put one of my units up in the breach ready. Soon the gates are going to slam down and our troops are going to be dispensed. There we go. So that's our first first front line against the Desert Axemen. So we can do with more of these men disgorging their troops. Great gods. Our soldiers so these units that have... The walls are taken. There we go. Get them to run along the walls to help fight the rear of this block of troops. Here's these Praetorians. I don't know. They're doing pretty well against the Desert Axemen. We'll need to try and knock out the Nile Spearmen at least. So these men are probably going to swing this direction. Yeah, there we go. Now the scrap over the gatehouse is occurring. Now my men can start to capture and secure the gate as, as they slowly edge up. There we go. Yeah, Praetorians are doing good against the heavy axemen. Against the desert axemen. Once we wipe out this cluster of men, then these guys can spin around and try to hit those guys in the rear if they need to. You guys fire it well on. As they try and point javelins up over the gate. They did pretty good. The gatehouse is ours. So let's get some of our Needs to run along the wall, or off the wall. These guys can just sit here, trying to get a bit more coherent. There we go. Yeah, the slingers in the rear. So what have we got? General. Nile Cavalry, which is Heavy Cavalry, and Nubian Cavalry, which is Light Cavalry. I want my Praetorians to, uh, I want these guys to consolidate a bit more while we knock out the troops on the wall. Because these men, I mean, Nile Spearmen aren't going to do too much good on the wall. Looks like they've disbanded. They've got rid of their spears and picked up axes instead. Got my men are shuffling around. You guys, have you fight all your javelins? You have. Okay, let's try and charge some men through the gate. Let's try and. There we go. Let's get involved. Only light cavalry. This Praetorian cohort's a shaking. Yeah, these guys aren't doing so good. Charging outward into the gatehouse of into a gatehouse full of just brutiite troops waiting to come in. Surprising the other units haven't really broken on the walls. 
these guys are all still climbing the wall, climbing the tower. We've actually sighted out the gatehouse a little bit. That'll likely be not in their favour, because as they sally out, they're exposing more of their cavalry to my troops. There they go. Let's get him inbound. Okay, let's commit the cavalry in. Okay, right. If they don't want to fight against my infantry, then I'm not going to make them. Just get my cavalry inside. Get my artillery in. Get my infantry inside. So what's this last thing left here? Nubian cavalry, light infantry. Good stuff. Okay, so let's just let my men get to their positions. And lots of the cavalry is it's getting pretty stuck trying to get through. So let's take cavalry and put the cavalry Cavalry over on the right. We got one last Nubian Axeman fleeing in panic, unhappy of taking casualties, distraught over many things. Let's get you guys off the wall. No, oh, these men have won as well. You guys go hit the Nubian cavalry so they don't get a free charge off. The second wave of infantry is getting ready. The Egyptian general might cause some problems, but to be honest. We have got so many darn troops. It's likely not going to cause too much of a problem. I mean, the cavalry could cause some mayhem amongst the infantry, but... Get all the infantry that is assaulting the walls. Get off the wall. My archers don't really have a purpose at the moment. There we go. These men are going to javelin their ways to freedom. Now cavalry is wavering, it's quite upset. My cavalry is going down pretty rapid as well. Especially that particular unit of Praetorian legionary cavalry, sorry, is going down pretty rapid. There we go. The enemy... No, oh, no, not yet. The enemy, general the enemy general's been cut down from his horse. There we go, then in goes the man. Is there someone left on this wall? Hmm. They are routing anyway. Got you men charge into the last the last of the enemy cavalry. The general's bodyguard have charged in. What good it done them did them, I am not so sure, because they've been destroyed. And in the middle
middle of here. Is an enemy cavalryman. There it is. There we go. So who's left? Who's ah? Run, Praetorians! Run! There's a unit of spearmen I did not see. Run, Praetorians, get out of there! Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. I want to try and form my guys around. Form my guys up to uh, hack a bunch of peel out of them and charge them, but apparently it did not even matter. Good stuff. Okay, so see where's ours. So there are three towns here. Let's exterminate the population. I'm pretty sure it's a city. It is a large city, so let's go find their temple. Let's knock down the execution square because we are not barbarians. Let's go temple council's chambers. Awesome temple of set. Not as good as our temple. Okay, let's put a shrine to Juno, repair the walls. They're very unhappy about that, but eh. We train the men. Let's knock down taxes. And let's hold daily races. There we go, let's cheer them up. You have this army to the north, but I'm not concerned about that. Can you guys leave Salamis yet? No, you cannot. Unfortunate. Tarsus is also a, a not very happy either. Right. Okay, let's see if we can... Got a low tax rate. We're going to build an, an arena. Let's build an awesome Temple of Juno. We're moving another army around to try and hit the Egyptians. This army is probably this is probably going to be an auto resolve because it's only against a captain against against an army we already we've already defeated in, in the field. So let's take him out. Victory! Let's exterminate the city. Exterminate the population once more. Let's go and knock down their temple of okay. Knock down the execution square because I don't don't want it. Let's knock, then let's go build a... They not have a temple. Temple city? No. Uh -oh. They're not going to like that. Well, I suppose it was already damaged. Got a shrine to Juno. Let's build some sewers. There's that large Egyptian army I was thinking about. So you men, yeah, you need to retrain. Actually, let's merge. And then our retraining burden is only focused on a handful of actual depleted units. And then the rest, it becomes a question of who do I want to get upgrades for? Sweet. So, Sidon, let's knock down your tax and change your races to be daily. Tartus can't do any of that. We don't have an arena. Okay, then we are also hitting the Thracians up here, but that looks like it might be quite a decent battle, so we're going to let them have that for now. We're rec recruiting actual troops to build this force here into an actual army, within for which we're going to go and then attack Lovasis, and we're also being assaulted by the Germans. So what I want to see is at what point do they attack me? Those men have gone aboard a ship, which would have been frustrating because I would have rather have actually used them. The dance of the diplomats. Hello. Yeah. Thought that was gonna happen. 
you're going to buy out one of my agents. Yep. Oh, we've got to the point where we've got so much money, I don't even really care about agents. They make lots of money. They're a very good early game tool. Is Carthage going to betray me? Looks like they are. Yep. Oh, well, spice things up a bit. It was, I was always expect, I was expecting it, to be honest, at some point. Because we do own one of their target cities. But all that means is that one of our armies is going to go for their... Uh, it's going to go for Carthage. So, 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 so. You have still not pushed, which is a bummer. You're going to siege us in Mediolanium. Kind of a bummer because they've got so much cavalry, so I, m I might sally against them. Sir. Cassius the Coal Hearted is going to take this city, just because there's only two Praetorians in there. Victory! Exterminate the population again. Do some retraining. Repair the walls. These, like I said, this army hasn't actually. I, I could just sail. No, let's not do that. General. Let's take these men, and march them back to the city. So they need, they need, they need to spend a turn to buy some uh, siege equipment. Might merge up instead. There we go. Although, to be honest, you guys can probably march out. You can. Which means I can then start to dump a load of legionary cohort out at Arishium. You men march on towards Jestica. Keep sieging. This force here is not a battlefield army. It's not a battlefield army at all. I don't have any cavalry. I don't have any good cavalry there either. Right, maybe instead you start to pick up some legionary cavalry, although we might have some further south. We do. So let's drop two of these guys back. Let's get some legionary cavalry in there. That might be all of it, to be honest. We can still hold out quite a few number, quite a large amount of turns from our other in our other cities. Let's retrain. I'm curious to see if I can actually retrain. From memory, you usually can't, but okay, you've got Thrace, Thrace under siege. Ah, let's fight that now. This is what happens, Thrace, when you. You're our protectorate, then you decide you're going to be funny and particular, and instead you end up betraying us. You sneaky SOB. I'm going to start to deploy. We're going to make many, many, many breaches in the wall. Eh, Triari, I can drop the ram. Make sure we've got extra infantry going in behind every ram. So let's combine these as little independent brigades. The rest of my infantry that is as yet unallocated. Line up. Cavalry and my general hunker down. Got war dogs and my Cretian archers are going to push up with the rams. Come on, there we go. No, why it? There we go. Peasants, Falksmen, Falksmen in the square, more peasants, general armored, general armored general's bodyguard. So let's speed up time. The archers are firing at the peasants as my rams get to work. 
More peasants. God, the peasants are sucking up all my Cretan archer ammo. Ideally, I'd be shooting the Foxmen, but to be honest, not going to make a lot of odds. So it's just... Ooh, okay, hold on. Move up my dogs. I'm ready to go fight the General's bodyguard. Because I've also got Chiarii. There we go. Many. Okay, they destroyed our ram over here. Okay, then each. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Men of Creek hit the Falksmen. War dogs go after General in Chief. Triarii. There we go. My war dogs of my legionary cohort are likely to be very upset. There we go. Bring in my Triarii. Legionaries are cutting the Falksmen open easy. There we go. The dogs have made their line of attack clear. And now they're after the General's bodyguard as well. As are my Triarii that are also in. See, it says victory seems certain, but... I think once the Triarii start to make their presence felt... Oh, all the puppies have been killed. No... Okay, those men don't run actually, just walk. Just just walk up to there. Those the guys following you can run. These men have got to clear out. And they clear out the peasants, the triarii. Should be doing some good work against the general's bodyguard, but they aren't. I suppose not enough of them are in combat against the general, I suppose. Archers of Crete. Shoot the general. So many men, but they're just not. So many troops, but I'm just not. I'm not going to throw them in. I may as well keep them in good condition. Peasants have been killed. There we go. Rome's finest. Charge the general in the rear. Victory seems certain. Oh no. Oh no. Now we're evenly matched. Oh no. Now we're definitely going to lose. Alright. The general. There's a bunch of my cavalry is coming in there then. There goes the enemy king. Charge on. Just run like the tide. These men are making good progress. Okay, you men charged out the peasants. It's only you, dear Falksman, sat there in the square. So everyone else just pour their way through the city. And taunting us, eh? Oh, they're doing a number on my cavalry, though. <laughs> the 
defeat is almost a certainty. Yeah, look, so I'm getting them to attack at long range, but look how they shuffle. Okay, now they've decided they, need, they better move up normally. Just surround and engulf the Falksmen. Again, getting some infantry support in time. But it looks like they're falling thick and fast. There we go, just keep right clicking. Keep right clicking. Well, now all the infantry charges. But there's one guy hidden in that mess. Is he down? Okay, let's speed up time. Run him out of the way. Right, I see him. Yes! Good lad. Huzzah! It's another territory on the frontier taken. Tertius the Killer. Damn right. We're not going to let these traitors live any longer than they absolutely have to. So in this army, when it's when I've taken the city, it's likely going to head south and hit Campus City. So we get to exterminate the population because it is a minor city. So we can do eh, not all the reinforcements we'd like. Let's repair the wall. Let's find their temple. Knock it down. Replace it with one of ours. Build some public baths. And let's start to recruit Town Watch to occupy the city. Ready for us to then march. Oh, look at that. For a, just a, It's just a peasant army. March my men up. Keep recruiting. Tell us you can probably send up some quick Roman Cav. Polarism hasn't got any option, anything that can help. Campus Lazijay can bring up some cavalry and some archers. Right now, this is just a bit of a holding pattern army. Let's check the building queue. Love of them isn't building anything. Sardis can build a pantheon. Cyrene, you can build a forum. Tillis, build a pantheon. Tharsis is very unhappy. Sinop is very unhappy. Sinop. Let's upgrade. It's going to be a town watch. Siwa to the south. Understandably, they don't like us too much. But once we get a Temple of Juno and a public bath going, they should like us a bit more than they normally do. The forces here at Sidon keep replenishing. Antioch. Good. They've finally upgraded some of their buildings, so let's pick up some archers and let's get some regular Roman cavalry to start to fill out this army. Tarsus is very upset, so let's probably march some of their men out and instead swap them out for some swap them out for some town watch. See if I, who I can see up here towards the Armenians. I have no real interest in pushing towards Armenia. This army can't hit the Carthaginians. I want to be attacked. Attack me. Assault me. Try get your men into the city. It's not going to work. These guys may as well march up towards the enemy city. Although I can't actually see where they're army was. Let's move my assassin up. Then let's check. 
this worthy life ends. Tiberius the coal hearted. Wait a minute. Tiberius. Let's check my family tree. Let's check I've got my... Let's check I actually have a... A suitable faction there. Secundus the lewd. Yep, you're right. Quintus is... It's going to become of age. Goddamn Publius and... Oh, see, Tertius. Tertius the killer and Secundus the lewd. Now, if you don't start breeding more, then uh, you may end up surrendering the title of faction leader to this branch, to Oppius branch, which will get on Oppius, the Marcellus, and Julianus. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.